Hi everybody, it's a rainy night here, it's Mr. Zuniga and I'm ready to teach you a new science lesson. So third graders, we are now on unit 2, as you know, and we are learning today about lesson 1, lesson 1 from this unit. And yes, it's about the heart, maybe, maybe, possibly. The name of this lesson goes like, how is my digestive system related to other systems? So we learn about the digestive system and this new one wants you to be introduced to the other systems. So that's why I want you to recall the previous lesson. Remember the previous lesson when you had to cut, glue and paste some pictures on your notebook and you had to be um, watching a video on the human system and the, the human body and its systems. So try to recall four of those systems because there were four in particular. I wanted you to remember it. And they were, obviously, the digestive system, the one in charge of making your food turn into energy, and the respiratory system, the one of inhaling the oxygen and exhaling the gases that are not needed, the circulatory system, the one with your heart, boom, 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 pumping the blood, so blood carries many important things to the rest of your body, like oxygen and energy. And the excretory system, the one that makes you run to the bathroom to pee. So, Pasó lo que tenía. Hey, se salvó. Oh, sorry guys, there was a blackout here. So, fortunately my computer didn't blackout at all. So let's continue. So, the excretory system, um, the one that makes you run to the bathroom, okay? Well, did you remember now? Because we'll work on page 18. So grab your book, fellas. Grab your science book. Discover science. And um, let's work on it. And as always, on page 18, you're going to start with the heading, which is going to be that date. Okay, let me focus this a bit. Is focus better now? Okay, not really. So, what's the date today? Today is Monday, March 18th, 2020. Okay, remember, same rules, capital, capital letters, punctuation marks, TH for 18th. Okay, so, we'll work on this part. On the part, okay, we're gonna see this picture. We see some kids running, right? Okay, let me have them in front. We have some kids running and we're going to read this part and then complete this chart and then answer these questions. So let's start with this information here that says, did you know, sabias, did you know a child's heart beats between 60 and 100 times per minute? Did you know that? Okay, what body parts can you name? So we need to complete the chart. We have three parts in this chart. We have for breathing, for running, da -da 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 -da, and for eating, yum, yum, yum. So we have an example already. We have the nose for breathing. So for running, what help for running? You might say my feet, my legs, my muscles. So I came up with the bones, okay? But any example related to running can work. So you don't have to write my example, you can write your own example, remember. Okay, for eating, you might think for eating I have my mouth, I have my teeth, I have my tongue, I have my esophagus, my stomach, my salivary glands. Okay, whatever you want to come up, as long as it is for eating, it is valid. So I came up with the obvious answer and I wrote mouth. Okay, so complete that, feel free to pause the video in case you need to do that. And um, let's talk about these two questions. The ones that say discuss. Discuss this part, okay? This little part over here on the bottom of the page. They say discuss and there are two questions. One says, what does your heart do when you run? ¿Qué hace tu heart cuando tu run? What does it do? Okay, it's obvious, we're talking about the heart, that's the real heart, it's not like the emojis, no, it's not like that, it's more like this. 
And it pumps faster. Boom, 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 boom. Another question. What do you feel after a race, after a carrera? How do you feel? You feel panting, tired. <sighs> tired. You feel hot. <sighs> and you feel thirsty. <sighs> you feel uh, really, really thirsty, huh? That's why you need... Okay, <sighs> too fast. Okay, so you feel that. So you can write this on your book. Remember to use cursive for this. And when you're done, let's continue next part. We'll continue next page. Page 19. This one, right? You see it? Okay, so what's what we're doing on this page 19? There is an experiment. The one that says, let's try, but we're not gonna do it now. We're gonna do it later, later on. Okay, right now we're gonna work on the on the coming part, on the on the next part that says, Let's work on, let's learn. The part we're working on right now, it's let's learn. Okay, and we're gonna read the paragraph together. It's a long paragraph, matter of fact, it's an article. Are you ready? Okay, we're gonna read, we're gonna read this part, okay? We're gonna start on this part that says the respiratory system. I hope you're ready. Okay. Here we go. The respiratory system, the digestive system helps us to obtain nutrients. But the body also needs oxygen to extract energy from nutrients. The respiratory system obtains and distributes oxygen to our body. We inhale oxygen through our mouth or nostrils in our nose. The oxygen travels to the pharynx and then to the trachea. At the end of the trachea, there are two tubes called the bronchi. These are divided into tubes called the bronchioles. From the, from the bronchioles, oxygen passes into the lungs. From the lungs, the circulatory system carries oxygen to different parts of our body. It also carries carbon dioxide from different parts of your body to your lungs. When you exhale, your body expels this carbon dioxide. Okay, I'm done by, uh, with reading. How about you? Do you read with me? Okay, we're ready for the next exercise on the same page, on page 19. There is this diagram of a kid's um, respiratory system. Okay, we need to label each of the parts. So we are given the instructions, label the diagram of the respiratory system, and we are given uh, six answers, bronchi, trachea, lungs, pharynx, and nostrils. Okay, we're gonna use these answers to name the parts in the diagram. It's quite easy, okay? And this is important for those who didn't understand the reading. Because what the reading says, it's exactly this. Okay, so let's start with the first part. Those little holes, I have them quite big. Mine look like piggy. So those are the nostrils. Nostrils. They are not called agujerito de la nariz. No, that's not their name. They are nostrils. Okay, then you need to cross out this answer here. We have them already. And we continue on part number two. You know what? I think we're gonna continue on the second part of the video because my time is running short. So um, check on the second part of the video, please. Check on the second, check on the second part of the video. See you there.